Welcome back for the 21st rune, which as per usual I will probably mispronounce. Looks like Lagus. That's what it looks like. I'm sure it's pronounced entirely differently. So what this rune rolls over. So the two books that I've mainly been using for this series, they went two completely different routes. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Intuitive knowledge, good memory, success in learning. Then we've got lake and water. And they said at the beginning that it was like it ruled over lakes and then it switched over a bit into leeks, which is the like the plant, the food, similar to an onion. So that was interesting. It's it's a fun one to cook with if you've never cooked with it before. And apparently having like a leek soup is like a thing to do. So I guess you could include that for this rune, but like just felt so weird. It's the transition between life and death, moon cycle and feminine energy. Again, I feel like that was like the last one kind of with like the moon thing, but again, maybe with the lakes and the stuff, you know, realm of imagination, which kind of pulled back to the first book and I was like, okay. And basically it just rules over the concept of go with the flow, which it, they say these things and then like none of it completely connects, which is why this is just like the first bits of interacting with these runes and then as you work with them yourselves you'll find your own interpretations typically and uh, I feel like that's gonna happen with this one. <laughs> so God's Associated, I don't know the first one, but it's called Nerthus? Nerthus. Something like that. Um, and the other one is, and I always mispronounce them, but it looks like Norn. Like, well, it doesn't look like that. I think it's pronounced Norn, but it's like, it's not an easy word to pronounce. Um, and that's the god of the sea, obviously connected with water and lakes and stuff, makes sense. Colors associated, we're just gonna go with blue because mind is typically associated with blue, with air and everything, um, and also lakes and water blue as well. So, you know, sure. Ways to use this rune. So any healing magic, psychic or physical protection. Again, nine, like, ugh, there are so many runes that are for protection. Truly, I think you just have, just cast a circle of runes and you're good. <laughs> like they are, pretty much all of them have been like, for protection, for protection, for protection. That's just what their theme is. Use this rune to um, have the other runes that you're working with, like work in secret. So that that's a fun one to think about how you would use that in spell work. It also said it was just the rune for spell work as well. And like, it's a really good one to use in spell work. They had a nice little chunk about pregnancies and midwives and using this rune. If it's something you're interested in, you can always research it further. It's not something I particularly care about, so. It's there. This was more my speed of information I need. So you draw it on the brow to dispel a sense of constraint or sterility and also to dissolve writer's block. Writer's block is my thing. That's the one I, I need the most. <laughs> but also the constraints, especially when you are writing and you're trying to be a full-time author, like that can get to your head a lot. You can use this with Urus and Threzas to like any kind of rain magic, just be specific on the amounts that you're trying to manifest because all three of them are very watery. That's 21st rune. And I feel like if you worked with this one a little bit more, you might get more out of it um, and might see some different things and whatnot. But yeah, that is going to be it for this rune. I would love to hear what your experiences have been with this one. Are you more of it's like the mind and like memory and thoughts and stuff? Or is it more like lakes and emotions and all of the connections that typically are associated with that? Which, which way do you go with this or do you do both? Love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon.